the biggest mistakes is I'll see is they won't make complete stops or they will just kind of come up, look, and roll right through the stop. And people think that they've paused or that they've rolled to a stop and there's nobody in the intersection and that's enough. But we're not called to market if it's enough. We're called to market if it's not done at all. Stopping over the limit lines is another big one because again, they feel they're looking to see if it's clear, especially on right turns. They want to pull up and see if it's clear to make that right turn, so they fail to make their proper stop behind the limit line and check first to see if anyone needs to cross. I would say 90% of the people out there taking drive tests are extremely confused with that limit line. And, you know, we want to get it out there that all they need to do is stop, look left and right for pedestrians. If there are none, creep up. If they cannot see traffic, creep up so that they can see traffic better and then from that point make their turns. A lot of times there are school buses on our particular route and our applicant will just drive right through with the red lights on. You have children crossing and that's an automatic fail because they didn't stop. Whether they're on the same side of the bus or the opposite side of the bus, you have to stop until those red lights go off. The most common reason in our drive test that causes a, a critical error on a drive test is usually the red arrow, um, making a right turn against a red right turn arrow on our specific route. And usually they do that safely. They will stop and they'll look and it'll be done safely. However, it is illegal and it's, it's not correct. You are to come to a complete stop and not attempt to move. You're supposed to hold your position until the light turns green.